Hey guys, happy hump day. Welcome back to A Daily Dose of Love with Tasha. I'm your host, Tasha Bradley. Thank you all for tuning in each and every Wednesday, giving me your time. Yes, you're truly appreciated. Big shout out to my international listeners. What's up, guys? If you're new to hearing my voice, thank you, first off, for pushing play. You made the right decision. This is your podcast. It's all about self-love, more self-love, and more self-love, and just having a ball with me, the hostess of the mostest. The hostess with the mostest. <laughs> what did I just call myself? Hostess with the mostest. What I should have said. Hey, it's one of those Wednesday, guys. Let's have a ball. Is it your morning, your evening, your night? I'm having a ball. I'm feeling good. I'm ready to... Uh, get this episode started so welcome aboard everyone thank you all big shout out to everyone who's listening to this podcast i love you we've made it through the month of june i've seen the celebration of pride i know you know today is um june 28th we have two more days left in june before we've come to an end with pride month and men's mental health so i hope the kings you guys are taking care of your mental health you know it matters Don't be afraid to say you need help or you aren't okay. And if you are celebrating pride, hey, I see you guys out there. It's been amazing to watch all the uh, pictures and the videos and just see everyone loving themselves and being comfortable in who they are. So big shout out to all our pride family. I love you guys. Continue to love your damn self. That's right. Show it off, baby. All right, guys. That's that. So what are we going to be doing? What's in your cup? You know, it's Wine Wednesday. I have a little Merlot here. And I just hit something on my phone. (laughs) Sorry about that. I have a Merlot here, guys. And uh, on three. One, two, three. Salute. Hey, guys. Cheers to being happy, healthy, and healing. The three H's that we practice here, okay? One more round. One more sip. Did I say one more round? Oh, Lord. (laughs) Anywho, you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys are used to me now. Anyway, I hope whatever was in your cup was absolutely delicious. So we're going to get this party on the road. Today, we're going to close out because we're, you know, heading into summer. A lot of folks are going through the heat wave right now. So we need to get this on out there. Aren't you guys just tired of people or do you know people or are you one of those people that just complain about everything? Summer's coming up. It's too damn hot for that, okay? We need all you folks who like to complain about everything to tighten up, knock it off. We're sick of it. We just can't take it anymore. Why all the damn complaining? I know too many people who just love to complain. Anyway, I took our, you know, weekly poll on social media and I'm going to give you the results from the Facebook group are you a person who complain about everything 90% I mean 100% yep 100% of our votes said no and then the other options were yes I am or I used to be that person so in our Facebook community 100% said no thank goodness good, good, good for you guys and over on our Twitter fan base are you a person who complain about everything 100 percent no so again thank you guys for uh always participating and over in our instagram inside stories are you a person who complain about everything we had uh 40 percent say no and 50 percent say i used to be that person so hey at least you worked on things and you're no longer that person and big ups to the folks who said uh no and thankfully no one said yes i am so okay well i don't have any complainers around me when it comes to my social media at least the ones that answer okay and if you have someone like that around you you know how annoying their asses are right it's just too much to be around and like i said summer's coming up it's excessive heat waves going all over the u.s i don't know about you know your neck of the woods my international listeners but here it's gonna be too damn hot to be around someone who's complained about any and every little thing okay so let's get into it all right complaining the expression of dis- dissatisfaction or annoyance about something his complaining has been a little bit annoying is complaining being negative 
Repeated complaining rewires your brain to make future complaining more likely. Over time, you find it's easier to be negative than to be positive, regardless of what's happen, happening around you. Complaining becomes your default behavior, which changes how people perceive you. Sure the hell does. We like, uh uh-uh, we can't deal with that. What is the difference between venting and complaining? Venting can be a healthy expression of emotions that are often suppressed. Complaining is passive. It keeps you stagnant and promotes wallowing in misfortune. It comes from a place of powerlessness and the notion that nothing will ever change. Okay? How to survive a conversation with a complainer. Listen and nod. Validate, sympathize, deflect, redirect. Keep advice brief and to the point. If you want to disagree, do it right. Don't ever tell them that things aren't so bad. Hmm. Don't ever come don't ever complain about your complainers or with them. Hmm, I guess. Does complaining damage your mental health? Research from Stanford University has also found that complaining reduces the size of your uh hippocampus, which is responsible for memory and problem solving. The study found that engaging in complaining or simply hearing someone complain for more than 30 minutes could physically damage your brains. Okay, so do you hear that? If you know someone who complains about everything, try and distance yourself or, you know, use some of these tools. But normally I try and redirect. That's just my thing. If someone's negative, you know how I have certain people that, you know, I've honestly avoided speaking with because sometimes you can answer your phone and you haven't spoken to someone in a while. You're anxious to speak with them. And, you know, you're going, okay, they're calling me. And you look at that phone and you already get tensed up. You see your energy, you feel your energy shift, right? Like what the hell's going on with me? And you're looking at the phone. You have yet to even answer the call. And once you say hello, before the person can really ask you how you're doing and everything, you go, hello, oh, hey, how are you, how are you? And now they want to just stop bombarding you with all these complaints and bullshit that they've gone through since the last time you've spoken. Or they're only reaching out to you because they want to complain. I see that I'm so open and I'm the go-to person that I've had to stop a lot of that because I noticed that, you know, this person told you know my brother could have spoken to a cousin that maybe I speak to he may have the good news about this person did this went there did that got this blah 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 I didn't get that from that person we just talked what did that person give me a lot of complaint and a lot of bullshit that they've gone through that's now draining my spirit because they've gone through something and mad about something with someone and it's like no you're not going to do that to me and if I go into speaking about my podcast which is my passion right now and my whole world and my life and you know selling my candles if I were to go into you know talking about something positive and upbeat about you know my wins that's going to be overlooked or mm, and back on the subject of them with the damn complaining I find that too often with folks, and that's why I know a lot of people haven't heard from me. I know they probably don't listen to my podcast, but if they did, they would know. They may recognize themselves, but if they didn't, oh well. And if they did, oh well. You understand? So I could repeat this to anyone. I'm just sick of folks who want to reach out to you when they just want to complain or bitch about something. And you may have good news that day, but that's going to be overshadowed. That's going to be overshadowed. Shattered. Overshadowed. Why am I messing up? You know, they're going to overshadow that. There we are. Damn, what was that about? Anyway, they're going to overshadow that. And uh, it's going to be like taken out. And I, I was like, I don't want to do that. You understand? So I'm knocking, I'm knocking those folks off. I just can no longer do that. You can no longer just come up to me and call me and start off with complaints. First, find out how I'm doing. Act as though you're truly interested in how I'm doing. Okay. And uh, let me, you know, get a lot of my things out, even if you aren't paying attention. There's a lot of time folks are telling me something. I'm thinking about what I'm going to (laughs) eat. What am I going to drink later on? Am I going to have a sip of wine or not? Or, you know, will I have a shot of tequila today? Like, I have a lot going on. I'm getting ready to uh, make a move from California to uh, back east somewhere. So, you know, I got a lot going on. That's going to take place uh, 
I'm planning for September. You know, I've been in California for two years, so I have a lot going on, guys. But I'm relocating um, coming up in the next few months, so I'm excited about that. I have a lot of planning to do. I have a lot going on with my podcast. I have a lot going on, which I haven't had any candles out because I've been so busy with the background work of the podcast and family stuff that I just can't afford to even run down to the post office at this point and continue, you know, packaging up the candles. It got to be a bit much, but anyway, I'm going to order some really soon when I relocate. So it's not like I've gone out of business. I'm still in business. And as a matter of fact, I still have uh, candles, uh, good vibes and TGIF. So if you'd like to hit me up and order self-care center candle, you can do so. Okay. Please hit me up. I just want you all to, uh, just to be mindful and if you're a person who used to complain and you're working on it please do so when you hear yourself going on and on about something or you can look at someone's face when they're no longer interested in what you're saying or hear the change in their voice over the phone you know just uh knock it off you know change the subject switch lanes just talk about happy things talk about your wins it's okay to talk about your wins everything isn't bragging and if someone takes how you feel good about yourself as bragging then maybe they don't have enough to talk about so to hear you may be a little draining and pisses them off because they're not living the life you're living they're not happy doing what you're doing and as they say dreams and your lifestyle is yours it's not for someone else to approve of so if they you know don't want to hear that then those aren't the people you need to be around no one should think you're bragging everyone should help you brag i like folks who want to brag on themselves so you know me i keep it cocky hey you're supposed to toot your own horn baby okay i was really feeling curse right here and go all out but uh yeah toot your own horn at all costs on a daily basis okay and that's what i'm here for so uh email me at bradley tasha six at gmail.com that's b-r-a-d-l-e-y-t-a-t-i-a number six at gmail.com if you have a question concern or if you'd like to be a guest on the show, hit me up. You're welcome, okay? BradleyTasha6 at gmail.com. Remember, stop complaining. And for those of us who don't complain, that's what's up, right? We're the cool people. We're the people to hang out with. We're the people you want to be around. Like I said, it's going to be a blazing, blazing ass summer. You don't want to be around folks who are just complaining, complaining, complaining. That's not what you want, okay? So get rid of those folks and, uh, or at least stay away from them during the summertime, okay? You can hook back up with them in winter if you choose to. I'm not saying uh, cut ties if you need to do so but if not you can just avoid like i say redirect them tell them something good in your day tell them something that's going on in the news in the world you know some good stuff and talk about traveling talk about wine talk about uh your hobbies talk about the grandkids talk about tiktok which brings me today we're not going to have a song of the week we're going to have i watched this video when i tell you a million times a million times and this is when i had gotten confirmation about this show i had did the poll that uh weekend was it sunday or monday or whenever i'd done the poll i'd gotten it out to everyone i think it was sunday i was on tiktok and the first video that comes up is this uh gentleman who's a uh, i think he's a black comedian maybe a tiktok comedian maybe he's big i'm not sure about that right he has uh you know how they have these little comedians that do these different sketches right and it says that person that always complains about their food okay this guy when i tell you this is the laugh of the day you're gonna watch this video a million times if you haven't already seen it if you don't have tiktok download it if you're on uh facebook or instagram you may uh you may have seen it already but anyway he goes by the name of his tiktok handle is art by demarcus sean okay that's all together art like just like art a-r-t by b-y demarcus t-e-m-a-r-c-u-s and sean s-h-a-w-n so all together art by demarcus sean and um he goes on at once you play this video you're going to listen to it over and over so it says the person that always complains about their food so he has in front of him some nachos okay so he's picking up the uh the nacho chips and he was like "Mm -mm." so the friend who we can't see who's off camera asked what's wrong he said these uh chips are soggy the meat ain't done she's like you don't like your food he said "Uh uh-uh he said the uh 
sauce is old and even picks up a ketchup pack and said the ketchup is old when i tell you that's the whole thing so the chips are soggy the meat's not done the sauce is old and the damn ketchup is even old when i tell you you got to see his eyes he said i'm gonna have to send this back and he had those eyes roll up when i tell you you're going to laugh 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 if you need a laugh for today and the rest of this week and coming up in the month of July, this is the video from you for you, okay, from TikTok. So that's art by Demarcus Sean on TikTok, and the video is titled "That Person That Always Complains About Their Food." You know, you got the person who complains when you go out to dinner with them, complain when you go to the movies, complain when you go to the concert, just complaining. You know, they walk in the door, or they, you, know, you pick up your phone, or you see them on Facebook and any social media, everything, they're just bitching, bitching, bitching. People, find your happiness. Please stop complaining, draining those around you that love you and, you know, don't mind being around you. Stop draining us with complaining all the damn time. Please stop, okay? That's today's episode. Stop complaining. We don't want to hear that. Keep some things to yourself. I always tell folks, you can take some shit to the grave. You don't have to tell us everything you're thinking about or feeling, okay? Not in feelings, because I don't want you to bottle up your feelings. We're not talking about that. We're talking about folks who just, and I don't want it to be overtaken, complaining with, you know, mental health. And we're not going to mix up the two. You guys know what I'm talking about, okay? All right, so I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I hope you can take something with you. I hope I made you smile. I hope I made you think. And I hope you uh, going to stay away from those folks who are complaining. Don't have them draining you this summer, okay? One love, guys. And don't forget to uh, please, please, please. I have 29 five stars on um, Spotify. Please, guys, if you enjoyed this uh, podcast, let me see that number go up today. Please, somebody go over there so I can see the 30. I'm trying to have at least 100 or 200 by the end of the year. You know it's the number one podcast, baby, okay? It's all about self-love, loving you and loving me. And I'm loving you. And it's love, love, love. One love.